This is Heloella. Uh, about a week ago, we took her to Vitel to run a race there, a maiden race, and she opened her bank account. Took us a little bit of money home for the first time. Good girl. She's a, she's a very small horse, and we have to find her as easy races as possible, and that means hitting the road. So uh, this time it was to Vitel. We're gonna we're gonna take you along and uh, tell you all about Vitel. But just before we go, let me please tell you why it's important to subscribe if you like these videos. Doesn't cost you anything, helps us a lot. We're only at, we're under 300 subscribers at the moment and we need to hit a thousand. Now we know there are a thousand of you out there watching, so please hit the subscribe button because that helps us and it doesn't cost you a cent. And you get to keep seeing the videos and it will encourage us to keep making them. So now we get to see what Ella did in Vitel. It's a real step back in time here. I mean, this is fantastic. Look at the, uh, these are the PMU windows. Love the wooden cutouts behind. I mean, this is really typical of just your French Provencal country race course. Really nice. We are standing on the track in Vitel. Now you guys have probably heard of the water. Vitel water comes from Vitel town. There's a spring here. It's a spa town behind us. We're, we're in the part of the national forest behind us are a couple of the big spa hotels. Um, really nice place. Actually, I have some good memories of this track, uh, in years past. Haven't been here in quite a while. Uh, it is really dry here. So we're just having a look at the ground and you can see if you, if you look, it's pavement over there and it's a good grass cover so it will be quick ground it's it's got it's not horrible but it's um definitely not much cut in it and you can see the as you go out to see where the, the water is and the old stand again the old wooden stand from probably 1920 something really pretty little stand and uh restaurants behind. There'll be a lot of people. There are already a good amount of people here, so there must be something to eat because that's why people come to the races. Attention, France Gallo. Yes, people like to eat at the race course. Something decent that doesn't cost too much money. So, um, pretty country, volcano country, hilly. The Right next to our, uh, there's the Vitel water that comes from here, Contracts water that comes from the little town called Contracts right next door. And it's spas strung together along the old volcano path in France. This is, this is really nice actually, the restaurant here, which we didn't reserve and we won't be eating at, but uh, 32 euros for the, for the menu. And it's really nice. You get a big starter with uh, terre and mare, sea and, sea and land. And then the salmon platter, or uh, and then after there's a leg of lamb, and or a um, lot. What kind of fish is lot? Seafood platter. No, this is this is what you want to see at a race course. Thirty-two euros for a really nice lunch. And we have another race course with a nice champagne stand. Thirty-six euros the bottle. And it's all uh, looks very nice. This is the locker room in Vitel. You can see there's a big difference in the country tracks for the Franz Keller tracks. You just kind of come in, put your silks up. The Nazis are going to figure it out. There's no valet here yet. There probably won't be one. <laughs> um, Back in the days when I was still riding, racing, this was all just one big room for men and women together, which was an interesting experience. And uh, now I see that they have their own walker room, which is nice. And then he walks through here to the tunnel. I was on the bloody racy. I was on the bloody racy. And I was on the bloody racy. Avant? Avant? Yeah, please. Okay. Check on the rest. Check on the Départ éminent. Et les voilà partis pour la cinquième course du jour, le prix du centre de préparation Omnisport de Vitel. 
support du euh, tiers des dames, une course de plat où il y a 2400 mètres à parcourir. Hein, un départ très long hein, pour la débutante, le numéro 7, euh, Gofori, qui a eu un peu de mal à sortir de sa stalle et qui se retrouve en dernière position légèrement euh, décollée du peloton. En revanche, la, Slatka, le numéro 3, a pris un excellent départ et s'empare tout de suite du commandement. Le numéro 5, Eloela, euh, vient à sa hauteur devant Bardolino, le numéro 1, euh, qui est troisième. Esprit conquérant est en quatrième position devant Stranger. Slatka, le numéro 3, tente de se relancer avec en léger retrait le numéro 5, Eloela, à 100 mètres du poteau désormais, Bardolino le numéro 1 qui repart de plus belle dans les derniers mètres et qui va venir s'imposer, Las Bardolino qui s'impose, deuxième place en retrait pour le numéro 6, Aurelia Orita qui effectue le très bon début hope you enjoyed our road trip to Vitel. Stay tuned for next week. We'll be on the road quite a bit in August. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell, please. Hey, did you notice two things this week? The dead tree is finally gone, and so is the hair. See you next week. This is Hello Ella. This, uh, fuck. Uh, <laughs> Let's try that again. Hello.